something. It did that all by itself. I had a curl in or anything. Oh, I love being a mixed race and having all different kinds of hair. Okay, I'm going to zoom out now because I don't want you looking up my nose. Uh, about the shopping list. I understand that you poor benighted British people can actually get uh, corn chips. Corn chips like... um. Now, I'm mentioning, not meaning to mention a specific brand name, but Doritos aren't bad. Um, as long as you get some kind that doesn't have a lot of extra frou-frou on it, like, uh, like cheese powder and junk. Uh -uh. Just basically, you can find toasted corn chips with very light or no salt. Perfect. Um, then try to find some shredded cheddar cheese. You got I know cheddar's over there, but I don't know if you guys eat shredded cheddar cheese. You're so peculiar. You'll eat kidneys and you won't eat shredded cheese. Well, I'm not saying you won't. I'm just saying I don't know. And what's the deal with malt vinegar? What? Well, I guess it's kind of like the next thing. Okay, first of all, I finish cheese. Cheese should be, um, especially when you get a slightly tart, uh, bitey, sharpy kind of cheddar cheese, that would be good. Um, so that you can sprinkle it over the, the chips in a dish. And do you have a microwave? Or can you stick them under the oven for a second? Let the cheese melt. Because there's a can of green chili in there. It's already diced up. It's a small can, about this big around by about that wide, which would be about, oh, maybe three inches around. Um, it's diced green chili, and I hope I got a relatively mild kind, so you'll get the savor of the chili, but not the yipes, you know. <coughs> Chopped up onion would be good with that. Chopped up a really nice ripe tomato, a very good red, ripe, juicy, sweet tomato. Chopped up. Because inside the box is some uh, dried cilantro, which you can sprinkle in with it to make pico de gallo, which is a um, salsa, so that you would have the chips with the cheese. If you can't get cheddar, get something like mozzarella, because that's as close to Mexican cheese as you can get, probably. Uh, so toast the chips with the cheese on top, and then just lightly, lightly, a actually maybe just people could just put a little bit on the chip and decide how much they want of the green chili and then once you've decided then maybe you could mix it with chopped onion a tiny little bit of garlic some of the dried cilantro that will that will be in the box uh, and a chopped tomato and you will have pico de gallo which means beak of the rooster because it's a little picante, a little hot. It'll peck you, you know? So, and hey, beak of the rooster! Hey, it's for Brian's cock! Okay, so that takes care of the salsa. And then, oh, the other thing is in the box, there is some lime salt. It's salt that's flavored like lime and a little shaker. That's for things like margaritas or It's really good sprinkled on things like melon with a little bit of chili powder. And there's chili powder in there too if you want to get some fresh fruit. Um, let's see. Oh, la 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 la. So the salsa and then um, the lime salt. But if you can score a fresh lime, that you have to have a little bit of lime in the pico de gallo. You have to, just a little bit. Makes it very fresh and brings out the flavor of the cilantro and makes it very aromatic, okay? Plus, if you're drinking beer or uh, tequila, you would really like to have a little bit of lime and salt. Now, if you have to, you can use the lime salt I gave you. If you're going to make something like a margarita or something, there's margarita for fixes at liquor stores and stuff. If you want to do that, whatever, it's really easy. Um, but basically, it's lime, a little bit of water, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of tequila. You can do it over rocks, uh, crushed ice, whatever, okay? What you do is you take the glass, you turn it upside down in the salt, wet rim of the glass, Rub it upside down in the salt, so you have a little ring of that lime salt around the um, glass when you put the margarita in. So that ought to cover you for food. Uh, so I'm thinking tomato, garlic, uh, fresh if you can, but I, it depends how you're feeling, you know. Diced tomato, diced uh, uh, onion, 
uh, either mozzarella or sh either shredded mozzarella or shredded cheddar cheese. It depends on whether you want to go mild or a little bit sharp. L fresh lime. If you can't score a lime, get a lemon. Uh, a little twist of the lemon peel in the pico de gallo or the lime peel. But no, not lime. Stupid. Little twist of lemon peel in the pico de gallo would be good too. I mean, just hold it over it and let the juice squirt out. Other than that, um, you guys are on your own, and because it's really hard to figure out uh, Mexican snacks that'll taste good with Chinese food. What? But that's so New Mexico. I mean, the the only way you could do it any better is to have some um, barbecue from India and uh, maybe some like uh, lamb sandwiches from the Middle East because that's Albuquerque's full of that stuff. So, uh, I, and, and Native American food too, but we won't even start with that. So that will give you a good little snacky doodle thing to go with the box opening party. And that's all you need to know. Have fun. Bye.